And so I would leave it at this, that get in the game and try to help fix versus complain and be judging about it and put in some effort, some monkey grease, as the, my great grandmother would say, boil it up <laughs> and at least get it to working again and get in the game, you know, pointing a finger, just pointing. It's them as bad as they. What if that finger needs to come this way? And what are you doing to help at such a time as this? That part, yes, 100%. That part. So I'm going to give you a chance now to truly get on your soapbox because what I want to hear now is um, next 10 years, what do you see? What would you like to see happen, change? What do you feel needs to, to be done to start to move women forward, everything be more cohesive, and obviously this nation where we live and you know, have to live, work, and play to become stronger, better, more balanced, kinder to each other, uh, however else you want to look at that. What, what would you like to share about that? The number one thing I would like to see in the next decade is that we're not still telling young girls what they cannot do. Um, that we're not planting that seed that your only way out over through under above is through the process of just a man I'm not saying that i don't want you to be with a man i said i don't want you to be with whoever it is but that we're, we're we're planting the seed of i can do anything and i'm capable of it the the other thing that i would love to see that as women leaders um, women leadership and mentors that we're not trying to lead like men. In my mind, we were supposed to be the change and not the same. Dogmatic, angry, boisterous, narcissistic, uh, condemning. Those were some of the traits that men historically had. Uh, egos, um, power hungry, power, power, power. I would love to see us try to take those steps that historically we've seen men tend to abuse and that we were gonna be the change in that, that we gave a little bit more methodicalness to it and um, see it through the eyes. I like to see it through the eyes of, if I'm your shoes, what would I want to be perceived of do? Um, and what would I need feedback from to have for me a better leader, a better person, a better whatever that role is. I would love to see us take more steps in implementing those values and infrastructures and um, mentorships in process that those seeds are planted younger um, and they're developed better. We tend to come, kind of, I got it his, supposed historically from the churches, um, but you know, they're in their influx as well. That would be that's one that's two and the last thing that i would love to see back into how women leadership and what society could be as when i especially when i hear men talk about i, I said this, this is personal this is going to be a personal note there was someone recently i heard say something really negative uh, about a, another woman it was male and let me put that into perspective what i mean by that because this women tend to think men tend to say very dogmatic that's that's not my experiences i, I tend to hear men be more um pro woman go get it girl you know, i i get more of the praise and the encouragement than i've gotten the disadvantage they don't think i have it but i have so but i i tend to pull on the other side of it so to hear a man who's typically who's raised daughters or have daughters and they have a respect for women to hear them say something negative about a, a woman that was kind of personal to me, it, it hurt me because in my mind, I don't, they don't say negative things about a woman because they, they know they wouldn't say anything negative to me. And they're kind of like one of my mentors because I've leaned on them a lot in this transition for great mentorship, leadership. Um, and so to hear them, and it wasn't just one man, it was, many men who I have respect for. And for me to give men a respect, it, it takes a lot. It's, it's standard is really high. Uh, I'm very, very hard on men, so 
you get that standard. You're pretty good with me. And so to hear them say something negative about someone that was very personally close to me, it made me do my own self-reflection and introspective. Like, wow, you're saying that? And so because she had lost her way, I would never want that to become the whole gamut for what women are now being judged at or let that be the bar because that's a low bar. You know, that's, that's not who women really are that I was raised to not to be. And so I would like to see us be a little bit more empathetic. Those are our gifts, empathy, intuition, um, a spiritual connection, wisdom, um, that mother wit, as my mother said, she thought if you're a mother, her mother wit, she would say, and she would just mean that she's matured into that role of understanding what it means for for hers. Um, and it would be great to just kind of see that the next decade of women to be developed to be those types of leaders at whatever level that is. And when I say levels, I don't mean that to be that a mother is a low level. A mother is to me one of the pinnacle because it takes, I love what my aunt said recently, it takes courage to become a mother. It takes courage. And especially if you are a teenage mother, it takes courage for you to go through that process to bring that birth into life and to nurture it into a, a human being to be a, a working viable citizen, however that is. And so if you tend to want to do that and to bring life onto this earth, that to me is the most beautiful moment that you can have to have the power and the gift to be able to develop that. And so what does that mean? I would like to see that be a little bit more sensitive, but not without withstanding boundaries and discipline and honor and integrity. But I think we can be a little bit more empathetic and it would be nice to have that implemented. But I think sometimes men can be a little bit more regimented, dogmatic, less emotional in understanding the bigger picture of what's happening. Because if you run a family structure, you know all things are not equal. And no one human is the same. Even if we try to make them the same, they're not. <laughs> um, and so I think we could be better at that in the next decade, of, um, developing younger minds to be more exploratory, creative, uh, facing more fears, and giving them the opportunity if they fall and fail, that they're just not play. You know, our, our future is not trash. Monique, thanks for joining today. This has been a, an excellent, excellent conversation and exchange. I think there's a lot of value and a lot of perspective that I hope our audience gains as they listen to this. And as you said, we get one vote. So we, we have our opinions and we, we get to share that. And for some people, it may resonate. For others, it may be, well, those people are crazy. But that's OK, right? Because it's the whole that's point okay. is we need to have this communication. We need to have the discourse. Uh, as how else do you work through things and, and get to the point of yes. moving things forward? So at the end of the day, that's what we're trying to do here is move up all forward in the best way possible. And the, the only way that's going to happen is open, honest communication and being willing to put in the work, as we talked about, to yes. move where we need to get to. So I greatly appreciate you for joining. Uh, it's been an excellent day. And uh, until we speak again, take care and take care of each other. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Have a great day.